Synology is well known for their network attached storage boxes. And while these are excellent for prosumers and small businesses and people like me who want to put things like a Plex server on one and an easily accessible backup for all my videos and photography work, this is still a device that would be a little bit complicated to set up and easily configure for my parents, for example. They are way too busy to want to research and learn RAID setups or delve into properly upgrading NAS rated drives. So having something that is plug and play for them, but offers a very similar solution is why I was interested in the Synology B station when I saw it at CES earlier this year. Now disclosure time, this device was sent over for review, but Synology has no input or editorial control in this video. And this video is not sponsored. So TLDR, the B station has a built in hard drive. It comes pre-configured and it can replace or be used as a backup to online storage cloud solutions with a one-time purchase and 100% data ownership. It costs 220 bucks for a four terabyte model MSRP. Now everything can be backed up to your B station and accessed from any of your devices. You connect it to internet via an ethernet port and it does not have Wi-Fi built in. In the event that you only want the B station be accessible locally, you can disable the internet connection after the initial setup and only have it available via the local network through its private IP address on on a web browser. Now, when you turn on the local account setting, it shows you your B station's IP address, which you can simply copy and save into a password manager, for example. So when your internet goes down or you just need local access, you can easily plug that IP address into an address bar in your browser to access the files. This thing is very easy to set up. You just plug this thing into power and an open ethernet port on your modem, or in my case, I plugged it into this Cat6 e cable in my studio Studio that goes straight to my networking switch, which is in my networking closet. And then you follow the on-screen directions to get this thing set up through an in-browser portal, which is found at portal.b.synology.com slash setup. Once it boots up, you type in the serial number from your box and the B station gets prepped for use, which may also involve a system update. Once you're all set up, you can simply go to portal.b.synology.com to access your B station. So you download the desktop app if if you want to, there's also mobile apps for easy access to your B station. From the desktop app, you can create a folder path for your B station via Explorer. So you can open your files without using the app itself. Now, since I often preach about having backups of your data in the event that a cloud provider goes down or gets hacked, having a local backup solution of whatever you have stored in the cloud is a really good idea. Even having a secondary local storage is great if your original storage, like a hard drive in your laptop computer fails. This is what I do with my beastly Synology NASes now, and this is what I would recommend using your B station for. Now, since local backups are not protected from things like fires or floods or theft, the B station can also be set up to have routine backups happen to an external hard drive or a Synology C2 storage for additional protection. So when it comes to data redundancy, you do have a lot of options, but they do limit you to only backing up to the Synology C2 storage for cloud backups, not and an alternative data backup solution like Spider Oak or Backblaze or Crash Plan or whatever. Again, it does come with four terabytes of storage space. So this would not fit my particular scenario where I am storing 4K master video files and I have over 12 terabytes of data just for my job. But for my grandmother who does not take a lot of photos but sometimes wants to send me a file and her PC is so slow that email takes 10 minutes to open after she starts her computer up because yes, it's an ancient computer having a solution that she can easily access from her iPhone and just send me a link to a file is a much better option. It's much easier for her. Okay, but what if you need more storage? Well, we do have a few options right after my coffee break. I got this mug in Japan. It's so cute. Now, if you need more storage, there are USB-A and USB-C ports on the B station. You can use these to automatically backup files from an external drive or a flash drive, or you can use these ports to add additional storage to your B station. Now for families, you can invite up to eight different people to share in that storage pool and to access the B station. Each of those users has their own storage space and each storage space is separate for privacy. Whenever 
you invite somebody, they have to accept the invitation within seven days or their invite link will expire. Of course, 2024 is the year of AI. We've been hearing about it everywhere. And the B station uses a local NPU to perform photo recognition locally, locally. And this data is never sent to the cloud. It gives you the ability to easily search for specific photos or files and preview them quickly. So say you need to search for a photo of your cat, you can do that with keywords and it should bring up photos of your cat. The service itself is separated into two different libraries. You have your B files and B photos. They look slightly different with the photos app looking a lot like Google photos on the web. And the B files library looks very similar to your windows Explorer library. B photos gives you quick filters for searching, for sharing and for albums. Files has a lot more of the traditional file library options. And you can use both of these or you could use one or the other. You have choices. If you just want to stick everything into one library, files can also store photos too. Now, if you like this video, a subscribe would mean so much to me. I use subscriptions as an indicator that I'm actively building an audience here who is interested in these kind of topics. And it lets me know that you find value in this type of content. Also huge shout out to my s'mores members, both here on YouTube memberships, as well as Patreon. You get early access to videos like this one. You get perks like choosing my next video topic via polls. Yes, you are in charge. You're like producers of my channel. And you get a live stream Q and A every single month and you get more for just being a member, which also funds non-sponsored videos like this one. The link to join on YouTube is right below this video, or you can join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Shannon Morse. Huge thank you for making this video possible. Now I did notice the syncing to upload to the B station was a little bit slow for some of my larger files like video files. Again, I am on a Cat 6e setup. So the bandwidth here is pretty good. Downloading files can also be a little slow as well. And as I mentioned, I use a non Synology cloud backup, but the B station does limit you to that Synology C2 for cloud backups. I like the simplistic form factor and that it's basically plug and play. And while I am definitely not the target market for it, I mean, I have a whole networking rack with a 24 port switch and I have multiple NAS drives now, I can see the benefit of this device. <laughs> so with this being incredibly simple to set up and relatively low cost with that drive included compared to those traditional NASs that you can get, I do think that this is a great choice for my audience to set up for long distance family. It's low to no maintenance. It requires very little knowledge of networking to work and it easily integrates into a standard lifestyle with remote access being super easy by just logging into your Synology account and local access being an option too. It's got a lot of perks and customizations. I like that Synology is delving into devices that are more non techy consumer friendly because it's a great way to introduce folks to the importance of backing up your data without making them invest a small fortune into something that is a little bit more convoluted. 